On behalf of Expert Village, my name is Tom Rowland, and we're at Cottonwood Motorsports, and I'm here to tell you about uh, doing a uh, service on a Polaris quad, and this is fairly representative of much of many of them. This vehicle, since it's fuel injected, um, it has a fuel filter in the fuel tank that uh, basically uh, it can be replaced, but it doesn't uh, usually need to be replaced. Uh, some of them have a fuel filter in the fuel tank that can't be serviced. Some have a fuel filter under the frame that can be serviced. And uh, another thing that they have is uh, this, this vehicle has uh, computer diagnostics that uh, only the dealer have. And uh, if anything serious comes up electrically, the computer, uh, the, the check engine light will come on. And if it comes on and goes back off again, then that's an intermittent, it's an intermittent problem and it's uh, an historic It'll show an historic code in the computer that'll show that it came on, but it's not currently a problem. If you have a uh, check engine light that stays on all the time, then there's a hard code in the computer, and it needs to go to the dealer, and it needs to be put on the diagnostic computer. And uh, we hook it up to the plug that I showed up by the radiator cap, and, uh, and we can check about 20 different items. And it, it has wiring diagrams, and it's a real useful tool. It show, it's basically the brains, the, the brains behind uh, all the electronic diagnostic on this unit. And uh, only dealers have it, and um, that's, an, that's another reason these vehicles are getting more complicated than they're used to. They work a lot better than they used to, and they're actually very, very reliable. In a lot of ways, they're more reliable than they used to be. But uh, this is your first. This is your first thing to tell you if something's going wrong. And then after that, then it's all a matter of uh, getting it on the diagnostic equipment. And the diagnostic equipment, not always, but generally will point you in the right direction to tell you what's going on. And uh, that's a dealer-only item, and, uh, it's, uh, but it's expensive hardware, and uh, most home people would never have anything like that. Basic services can be done without, uh, without the diagnostic hardware. Uh, you can reset your own wrench, um, and you can uh, do all of the stuff that we've already talked about. And you can do that stuff, and as long as it's done, it'll work really well for you. But uh, if it does need to come to the dealer, it needs to come to the dealer, and that's what, and and it, that's that way we can help you to get it fixed properly.